Hi, it's Vex, and today we make a sad goodbye to Commander Legends. You'll be remembered, but we'll be back. Don't worry, we will be back to Commander Legends. This final deck deck, for now, of course, is the deck that I made after retiring my uh, Vile Smasher Thrasios deck. Um, in this video here, I converted it to a Sakashima of a Thousand Faces and Vile Smasher deck. That's right, the deck still lives on. I figured, you know, as I said in the previous video, the, the deck had two main themes, centered around Thrasios and Vile Smasher. And, you know, I feel like the thing I want to do the most is Vile Smashing. Throwing Vile's at people's faces, have them explode, do some random damage, over and over again. So what better way to do that than with Sakashima of a Thousand Faces? Both in these beautiful etched foils right here. Uh, and then I have other Vile Smashers, so when you clone Vile Smasher, let's say I play Vile Smasher, and then play Sakashima to clone Vile Smasher, because Sakashima, let's read Sakashima real quick, you may have Sakashima of a thousand faces enter the battlefield as a copy of another creature you control. So it's a clone, except it says Sakashima of a thousand faces other abilities, so it has the legend rule doesn't apply to permanents you control. And then partner, I know, I know it grants partner to, to the copy too, but whatever, it doesn't matter. The legend rule doesn't apply to permits you control. That's the most important part. And what that allows you to do is essentially have your Sakashima be able to copy Vile Smasher, and then the copy also has the legend rule doesn't apply. And let's read what Vile Smasher does, this is the most exciting part, is that whenever you cast your first spell each turn, so your turn and your opponent's turns, choose an opponent at random, Vile Smasher, the Fierce deals damage equal to that spell's uh, career mana cost to that player or Planeswalker that player controls. So, bam. Imagine this. You have one Vile Smasher. You set, play Sakashima and be like, I want to copy Vile Smasher right here. That's my copy. And then you play something. Um, let's say you do this copy and then you go to your opponent's turn and you say, Oh, I'm going to play um, a Brainstorm. Well, I'll deal one damage from this Vile Smasher and one damage from this Vile Smasher. It's awesome. Imagine more more clone effects because this deck is all about clones. You clone some more Vile Smashers and then you just deal some damage all around. Super, super fun. Uh, so those are your partner commanders in Etch Foil. Right there. So I'll put those to the side here. I have extra copies of Vile Smasher because you know, I'm cloning Vile Smashers. So might as well have fun. But I do have these clone, clone copies just in case I run out of Vile Smashers. So those are there. So let's put this here. So here's a deck. Of course I have a secondary commander because it's a Grixis commander, which allows me to have a secondary commander. It's Kess, Dissonant Mage. So what Vile Smasher wants you to do, obviously, is cast spells on your turn, your opponent's turn, and all the other turns. Kess is kind of like a spell slinger deck. Let's you um, cast cards, oops, drop, cast cards from your graveyard. Um, so it's a good secondary commander. Not as good as Vile Smasher because when you play Kess, you have to put Vile Smasher and Sakashima back into your uh, deck. So you don't get a clone, but again, it allows you to vary gameplay, which I love. Secondary commanders loves very. I love to vary gameplay. Should I put this over here? All right. So what Vile Smasher does best is there's a you know the Vile Smasher curiosity combo that a lot of people play with. So this says it's an enchant, enchantment aura, enchant creature. Whenever it's enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. Note it says deal damage, not combat damage. So whenever Vile Smasher you know, when you cast a spell during your turn, your first spell, or your opponent's turn, you deal damage to Vile Smasher, then triggers Curiosity, if you have Curiosity on Vile Smasher, right here. Uh, then you get to draw a card, so this reloads your hand, lets you draw cards, play more Vile Smasher shenanigans, awesome. Here, um, I have Ophidian Eye, right here, which is a flash version of uh, Curiosity. Alright, so, whole goal is to play as many Vile Smashers as we can. Right, that's why I have these extra Vile Smashers over here. Uh, so the goal is to get Vile Smasher on the board, get Sakashima on the board, and then be able to clone Sakashima with that ability right here. The legend rule doesn't apply to permanents you control. You want to clone that so you have multiple Vile Smashers on the board doing multiple um, amounts of damage to all your opponents. Super fun. Uh, again, they can't get mad at you because you're not targeting them. I guess they can because you're doing damage to them, but you're not targeting. It's a random target, random target, right? So we have the other Sakashima, the Imposter, which is like a, a cool clone. 
And uh, let's actually read this. As it uh, comes into play, enters a battlefield, you may choose a creature in play. So it's any creature, unlike the other Sakashima is your creature. If you do, Sakashima comes into play as a copy of that creature, except its name is Sakashima the Imposter. Uh, it's, st it's still legendary and it gains two blue blue return, return it to its owner's hand. So what this does before this other version of Sakashima is just let you copy any card and it has the name Sakashima the Imposter, which allows you to have a second version of a legendary creature on the battlefield. It's really cool. So you don't need this um, legend rule ability with uh, the partner Sakashima with this one. So it's a really good clone. But of course, we want more and more clones. So let's, let's talk about all the clones we have. Phantasmal Image, it's a really good clone. Very cheap, very vulnerable, but still cheap. Glasgow Mimic, I love this clone because um, it has a, a land on the back. So you can, in a pinch, you can use it as land or you can use it as a, a clone, but copies your own creature and turns it into a rogue, shape to rogue. Frexian Metamorph, again, can be a three mana clone. It also include artifacts like soul rings and stuff too, so it's really good. Clever Impersonator, one, one of the best clones out there, can clone anything um, except for a land. So you can clone Planeswalker, an artifact, whatever you want, and anybody's clone. Spark Double, it's just you know the same three in a blue clone something if it's creature plus one plus one, but it can only clone your own creature, or it can clone a planeswalker. So it's pretty cool. Except for planeswalker, you control, so I only have one planeswalker, so it's not that much. But what you could do is clever impersonator clone somebody else's planeswalker, and spark double clone that planeswalker. But remember to have Sakashima's legend um, no legend rule clause on the battlefield before you do stuff like that. Stunt double instant clone. Vizier many faces, Vizier many faces, clone except for it's uh, got embalm. Now this is super cool right here, right of replication. So if you have Sakashima out, that's cloning Vile Smasher, you you can put a token as a copy of target creature, and if it's kicked, you can make five of those tokens. Imagine having five more Vile Smashers on the battlefield. <laughs> so much fun. Dax duplicate has haste and dethrone. Evil twin, just another clone except for you could um destroy what you're cloning. Um, so these clones I, I mainly meant for copying the, Va I know it's copying the copy. So you're playing Vile Smash, you're playing Sakashima and copying the Sakashima because you really want this legend rule doesn't apply clause. So, but don't be afraid to clone your opponent's creatures if you need to, you know. Uh, Mirage Mirror, a little temporary clone, can clone a soul ring or random anything, enchantment land, so really cool. So we, Took some cards and add some cards, like Twilight Prophet, we add this card to have the theme of dealing random damage when we, um, if we have City's Blessing, reveal the top card of my library, each opponent loses X life, you gain X life, where X is a card to convert mana cost, so you know, it's deal some more damage, you know, that's, that's how, what we want to do. Care back to Merciless, that actually came from the, the deck I retired, and it's whenever an opponent plays a spell, Care back deals damage to that target creature or player. Equal that spells can vary mana cost, so I think it's uh, reworded to any target now. So whenever they cast a spell, bam, I deal damage. And these are the big damage spells that we want to cast with uh, our Vile Smashers here. Trenchal Gearhawk, six mana, flash. That's important, flash and play somebody else's turn. Um, it enters the battlefield, of course you can play an instant. That instant doesn't do the uh, Vile Smasher damage, but Trenchal, Trenchal Gearhawk would at six. Now I don't have Demonic Tutor, I'm just like, eh, do I need Demonic Tutor when I have Beseech the Queen? Beseech the Queen is CMC 6, but can be played as little as 3 black for tutoring. Now, that's quite the card. Uh, so I have that. Another big mana spell, again, Agadim's Awakening. Probably for 4 or 5 to, to get your big creatures and your clones back from the battle from the graveyard. Again. The reason I have it is because of the land side, so flexible. I, I've actually reduced a lot of lands in this uh, deck, so I can have all these uh, modal double face cards. Seagate Restoration. Uh, it's there to draw you some cards, do some damage. Even if you draw one or two cards, it's not that bad because it still can do seven damage. Really good there. So and again, it's a land. Seagate uh, Reborn. So don't don't be shy to play this land. I I think these modal double face cards would be. Over 50% land, 50% of the time will be lands. So I, you know, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm putting it there for it has spell utilities, but most I, I think 75% of the time will be lands. 
Um, anyway, Sublime Epiphany does a bunch of things. Can also create a token as a copy of target creature you control. So a big mana spell that can counter, um, counter, counter spell, counter ability, draw a card, make a token. Really good. Now these are great, the Delve cards, because they cost eight CMC, but really you're probably gonna pay like two mana, three mana, four mana. Do Delve, and it's an instant. Treasure Cruise, one mana, Ancestral Recall, why not? Current's Call, again, this gets reduced by possibly three mana. Destroy two creatures, so. I love this spell, Volcanic Vision, seven mana. Return target, insert source card from your graveyard to your hand. So you get, you get another big mana spell back, and you deal some damage to, um, it deals damage equal to cards from mana cost to each creature your opponent's control, like a board wipe and regrowth for your instant, and deals Vile Smasher damage. Blasphemous Act, this is amazing. Nine CMC, but it usually costs one red. Board wipe. This is in Garrick's Wake. Um, I mean, it's a big man spell. It's from that previous deck I had. Uh, it's a one one side board wipe, pretty good. Then we have some extra turn spells. So these is some removal. We have some extra turn spells. Carnage Temple Sundering. I mean, we're playing with like two legendary partners, so it's easier to get the legendary sorcery thing working. Take an extra, take an extra turn. Oops. Now next is the Fate. Take an extra turn at instant speed. Of course, we want to take more turns. The most turns. Expropriate. Now this is this is the this is the ticket. This is the winner right here. Expropriate. Take an extra turn and do other things. Take everything. Mine's dilation. So um, this actually helps with casting spells on your opponent's turn because when your opponent casts their first spell each turn, that player exiles the top card of their library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. So Foul Smasher is a cast trigger, right? And Mind's Dilation steals spells off the top of the opponent's decks and casts it. Amazing. Of course, we're in Grixis. We, we gotta play some Thieves. Thieving Skydiver. It's the most, my most favorite card from Zendikar Rising, Thieving Skydiver, called the Soul Ring Stealer. Steal some Soul Rings. I've done it. It's amazing. You should do it too. Hull Breacher. Steal some draws. We're, we're, still, we're still in Commander Legends. Kaldheim has not come yet. So we got to play some Hole Breacher action. Why not pay its bigger brother? Um, Notion Thief, steal some card draw and steal, take their card draw. Opposition Agent. I mean, this stops them from searching their library. I don't, I don't have a lot of tutors in the deck. I'd beseech the queen. So, and I have some fetch lands, but not a lot of tutors. But Opposition Agent. Some Graveyard Hate. Ashiok. It doesn't hate your graveyard. And it has the... Um, Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause their control to search libraries. So it just prevents searching libraries, period. If you have these two on board, it's kind of a weird situation because you, you don't get to um, steal their library searches, but, you know, why not? And then we have some uh, protection spell. Of course, you want to... Um, if you play Vile Smasher and then play Sakashima afterwards, they can kill Vile Smasher and Sakashima just comes in as 3-1. Um, so you want to protect Vile Smasher so, oh, like any way you can. Swift with Boots. Lightning Greaves. Of course, clones don't target right here. Um, so you can do Lightning Greaves and don't worry about the Shroud. Deflecting Swat. This is also good because it's like a free, um, a free, uh, I guess, a free spell during your opponent's turn. You also have Fierce Guardianship, counter spell, good protection. And it's free during your opponent's turns. It's free during your turn. It's free all the time, as long as you have a commander. Mana Drain. Well, again, we're in Commander Legends. Let's just go big, go Mana Drain. I, I put the counter spell aside. Usually I put counter spell on this slot, but you know, gotta, gotta do gotta do some some cheesy effect mandarin. This this deck is a little a little higher power low than I usually percent, but mandarin's good. Mystic Confluence, a good, you know, good counter spell, but also a five mana play, can do some damage. Of course, you got some removal here. The best blue removal, one of the best EDH cards, the blue staple, Cyclonic Rift. Chaos Warp is good. We have another free spell, Della Relic. I, I don't see this play that much because, you know, it doesn't have a, a, a crazy game effect, like, you know, blowing somebody out by countering spell or deflecting SWAT, but um, Deadly Rock still good, still free spell, still can be played, get your Vile Smasher trigger. We're playing Grixis, we need a way to kill enchantments. Feed the Swarm is always good. I mean, we, we do want cheap, cheap interaction here. Like, we can't play all expensive cards and all clones. That just that's a recipe for trouble. So that's why you have really free interaction, some cheap interaction here. Feed the Swarm, Talk the Deluge, the best block removal spell. 
Another uh, modal double face cards, one of the land shower skull smashing. Most times the land, but some, there's some removal if you need it to. And can go big as well here. Some card draw, we took this out of our previous deck. And we actually uh, had a Consecrated Sphinx in our previous deck, but we upgraded to a nice uh, secret layer one. So I, I couldn't resist, I'll tell you the truth. Factor Fiction, so some of this card draw help reload for more Vile Smasher shenanigans. Again, more lands, more Demortal Devil Face cards and Slendy Vision, Valkyrie Awakening. You know, the good stuff, all right? Um, Rhystic Study, you wanna pay one for that. Frex and Arena, draw some more cards. Then the gold deck is draw, keep drawing cards, playing some lands, and then, then bam, 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 smash, smash, smash. All right, let's go quickly through the ramp package. You got Doxide Extortionist. And Matt, oh, don't be afraid to clone this card if it, there's a lot of artifacts and enchantments on the opponent's side. It's like, this guy's super ramp. If you clone it, super ramp. Clone it again, more ramp. So it helps you out. So don't don't be shy about cloning this one too. And and you can always use Shakashima to clone Doxite Extortionist. Solemn. Don't don't be embarrassed to clone this one too. I know. It's not the best thing to clone, but it can be clonable. You got your soul ring, Wayfarer's Bobble, Arcane Signet. Um Felworth Stone, I got Rakdos Signet for uh Sakashi I mean not Sakashima, Val Smasher herself. Here, I got the talismans. Yes, this is a really heavy blue deck, so I got more blue lands than usual. And I got some of the rainbow lands here. Um, Command Tower, crumbling, ne crumbling Necropolis. Command Confluence, Exotic Orchard, so the three mana, three color lands. The Battle Bond lands, one of the great lands in Commander. It comes in un two, two mana, untapped. Your standard shock lands here, your buddy lands. Uh, I can't wait for Kaldheim. I think I can get the last, um, the Rakdos land. But I'm not sure if I'll put it in the deck, but oh, I, I turned around. I turned these around to the black side. My um, sleeve, but got the Lava Glide, Murk Water Pathway, Clear Water, River Glide Pathway. So, again, heavy blue deck. So I played the blue duels here. I, I think real quick is like one of the problems nowadays with uh, mana bases. It's hard to fit basic lands because they're just making so many, so many good dual lands that I'm just like... I think some decks have cut buddy lands too. Just have like shock lands, um, some of these flip lands, and maybe the battle bond lands. But here, you know, you want to play Vile Smasher on turn three, Sakashima on turn four. You need you need to make sure your colors are in intact. Got some of the pain lands. Uh, again, more more blue focused. The um, Horizon lands and some fetch lands. Of course, we're playing black. I play with Jugal Bog. This is the black staple right here. Orbor and some basic lands, right? Blue heavy, basic lands. All right. Oh, it's so exciting. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna shuffle this deck up. But before I do that, if you enjoy the deck tech, uh, and then you want to help support the channel, help support this video, click that thumbs up button, smash the subscribe button, um, hit the notification bell, all that good jazz. Uh, I have a TCG player affiliate link in the description below if you want to support me further. Um, anyway, so I'll, with that all said, I'm going to shuffle my deck and then we'll be right back. All right, we are back. And I forgot to mention when I was talking about basic lands, I think I should play more because I do have friends that do love playing Blood Moon back to basics. And these five color decks, oh boy, they get destroyed by back to basics. Anyways, let's start this game here. Seven, all right. I don't know why I put Sakashima on top. You know, Voss Master deserves that. She's only going. She's always being played first, right? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. Okay, so we got tap land, tap land, and tap land. Remember, this is still land. And you know what? I think in in competitive, you got to put this front side up. But in casual, I just put the land side up. Just to, I'd probably keep these land side up. Most times, so they tell me it's a land. All right, so we got choices. We can play a Wayfarer's Wayfire, Bobble, but not Cracker in turn two. Or play Tap Land, then Mountain, then Talisman, then Wayfarer, Wayfarer's Bobble in turn two. I think that's better to play. Um, okay, and we got two clones at, at four mana apiece. Not bad. I mean, if we need a clone of Mana Rock, we can. Uh, all right, let's go. Turn one. Fierce Guardianship. Ooh, that's a free spell. We'll take that. That's a good way to protect our Vile Smasher. 
So let's get us the most ma most colors of mana, crumbling, the crumbling the Acropolis. Okay, turn two. Let's see what we get. Felwar Stone. Okay, another mana rock. Okay, so what we, what we do is we're doing as we're planning. Tap these two, right here. Play Talisman of Dominance. So now we have our Grixis color here, here, and here. Tap one. Play Wayfarer's Bobble. Right there, okay. We're doing pretty well. So if we get untapped land, we would have one, two, three, four mana, which means we can play our Felwar Stone and Vile Smasher in the same turn. Let's see here. Okay. Ooh, that's our untapped mana. Sweet, turn three. I guess what we want to do, turn three. Okay, we'll play our untapped mana. We'll tap this way. Um, play our Felwar Stone. Tap our Felwar Stone. Tap our red and black sources here. Uh, play Vile Smasher the Fierce. Bam. So the cool part is now you have Fierce Guardianship. You got protection um, for it. So next turn, okay. Next turn, you do not want to clone these clones on Vile Smasher because you'll legend rule yourself. You want to play Sakashima, so you won't legend rule yourself. Remember that. Okay. So let's say somebody tries to kill Vile Smasher, like, no. Boom. Three damage to you. Or somebody, some random person, obviously. Not, not, not to the person who casts a spell, but still cool. Okay. Say turn four. Yeah, Vile Smasher. So turn three, you really want to follow Vile Smasher. That's why I got all these two mana rocks now. Let's see what we get. Oh, Spark Double. Another clone. Of course we're going to draw clones, right? This is what the deck does. We'll play our Slendy Isle as a land because we, we want more lands. Um, this says basic land card put in battlefield tapped. So I can't play Sakashima and that. I wish that was an untapped land. but Or one of those three pay three life, which I would pay right now to get an untapped, but it's not. So we got to do some compromising. We'll tap this. I guess we'll tap everything except for the talisman here. Use your tappy tap. And we will play Sakashima of Thousand Faces. Right here, and we're like, oh, we're gonna copy Vile Smasher. Right there, and that's our first spell of the turn, so it does three damage to some random person. Uh, if the opponent's smart, they'll kill the Sakashima version first, because it has that, that the legend rule applies idea. So, let's hypothetically assume and hope and pray that we'll go around the table without anybody killing our Vile Smasher, our Sakashima copy of Vile Smasher. Turn five. Okay, see if we actually crack our Wayfarer's Bobble. We've been wanting to crack for, you know, years. Blood Crypts. Oh, that's, that's an untapped land here. So we got four mana clones everywhere. Probably could do this. Dax Duplicate. Give it haste and dethrone whenever it attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Or we can just automatically put one on it. And this is cool, too, because this um, copies... And I, I forgot to mention in the deck tech, but... Uh, and it isn't legendary, that permanent is legendary. Okay, so if they kill the Sakashima copy, what you can do is do the uh, Spark Double copy right here. And you deal four damage to two random players. Or four damage to a random player, then another four damage to a random player. Spark Double. Copy your Sakashima Vile Smasher. But if that's not on the board, they can copy the original Vile Smasher and it becomes non-legendary. Then you start copying the non-legendary one. Uh... So this is a copy of Vile Smasher again. Comes in with plus one, plus one counter. Bada bing, bada boom. Tap these two. Finally crack our Wayfarer's Bobble. Get a, uh, a blue land, since we were left playing blue. Get an island here. Comes into play tap. We finally get to crack that. Probably crack at the end of opponent's turn. Okay, let's hope and pray again that we go around the table without any effect. Remember, this... Vile Smasher is cloning this uh, Sakashima clone of Vile Smasher, which has that ability. And this is non-legendary. So it's a non-legendary Vile Smasher with plus one, plus one. With the Legend Rule doesn't apply ability on it. I know it gets a little confusing to track. All right, so turn six. Let's see what we get. Cast. Okay, we got, no, we got Fierce Guardianship. So during each of your turns. So you can only cast Fierce Guardian during, during your, Fierce Guardianship during your turn. What we want to do is look, we have seven man. We're shocking this blood crypt right here. We're like, why not? Let's do it to it. Clever impersonator, Dax duplicate. 
all day, every day. And guess what? We're just gonna make more copies of Vile Smasher. Um, now the first clone that came in to play deals, you know, triggers this one and this one and this one. And now you have five Vile Smashers, and you're gonna go to town, assuming your board hasn't been wiped yet, and you have to recast Vile Smasher and such. But uh, that's a big assumption. This is how we want the games to go. This is super fun. I mean, we have cats in here. We don't have any, we have not drawn any of our big instants and sorceries. So let's just check the top of our deck. Nope. No, Sarah's Skull Smashing. That, that could be a big spell if you play it for six. Right there, can trigger some, all the Vile Smashers for eight. Um, yeah. Right now, we just have tons of Vile Smashers and we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Anyways, if you enjoyed this deck tech, again, give the video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want to get alerted for my new videos. I love Commander Legends. This is a super fun deck. I mean, I love Vile Smasher before, but it didn't have clones in it. But now, having more and more Vile Smashers, I just love the deck even more. Sakashima is a very powerful card. I'm not going to lie. It, um, I'm not sure it should have been printed because it just, if you want two Timnas, two Thrasioses, two Vile Smashers, you just add Sakashima. It gives Vile Smasher blue color, which is the color of clones right here, the color of Fierce Guardianship. So, this, this is a super fun deck. I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed it too. And as always, have a wonderful day.